And so a very good morning to you, Grenada, and welcome to uh, another edition of Good Day, Grenada. It's a Wednesday morning, and it's a cloudy morning now. A couple of days ago, I told you, I think since Monday, I suggested to you that you make absolutely certain to take along an umbrella with you. At first, I said on Tuesday, and I think yesterday, I said, well, I'll change it to Wednesday because the forecast shifted just a little bit. And yeah, sure enough, we do have, uh, we've had some rain here, uh, quite a bit of it overnight, and again this morning, and um, in just a wee bit, I'm also, actually, let me do that right now. There's a, there's a note that came in at about 2 o'clock this morning from the uh, Met Office down at the Maurice Bishop International Airport, and it says that a tropical wave is along the Lesser Antilles, and it is generating extensive convective activity, rain, and an abundance of moisture, cloudy conditions, showery activity, and thunder are expected to affect the islands on Wednesday and Thursday. It is possible that some of this precipitation may also be related to the intertropical convergence zone. As a result, warning of possible flooding and landslides has been issued for the state of Grenada. Hmm? Similar warnings have been issued for Trinidad and Tobago, and the Met Office says that they're continuing to monitor the cloudiness and showers associated with that tropical wave. Now you can't see it through the uh, curtains here, but uh, yes, there is some weather out there. That's essentially what they're saying. No big storm, no big hurricane, but it's a tropical wave, okay? So be guided accordingly. Now, this morning, we're gonna touch on a number of things. First of all, can you believe it? You're hearing CCJ again, but this time, this time has to do with a ruling in Trinidad and uh, it's an example of a CCJ ruling which may be of interest to those of you who pay general sales tax coming up then um, I told you about a video yesterday or a day before that's been circulating uh, it's been put out by the uh, CCJ's media group and it's uh, talking about the NDC's support for the CCJ. Well, we are going to run that video. It's only uh, 30, 40 seconds long, pretty short. Of course, uh, we do have the national report for you. And uh, we're also going to take some time to say a big thank you to the folks down at Jonas Brown and Hubbard. They continue to be so proactive and helping various communities in this country. And I think it was last Friday they did something else, and uh, we're going to share that with you this morning. Um, I'm also going to send you a snapshot of the celebration which took, part in the, which took place in uh, the Cabinet Room uh, a couple of days ago as the Prime Minister commemorated or celebrated his most recent Acolyte. All right. Now, here is what appears to be a rather interesting scenario, which was reflected in a recent judgment coming from the CCJ. In this situation, President of the Court, Justice Saunders, did not agree with the majority of the judges. Listen to this. In the case of Cruise Solutions Limited and Discovery Expeditions Limited versus the Commissioner of General Sales Tax and the Attorney General of Belize, the Caribbean Court of Justice recently held that two companies that, that two companies were entitled to be repaid all general sales tax assessed, charged, and collected by the relevant tax authority 
from February 2007 to the present time, along with interest of 6% per annum. Cruise Solutions Limited and Discovery Expeditions Limited are Belize tour operators that entered into contracts with international cruise lines that visit Belize to provide tours for their passengers. Previously, the cruise lines would have contracted with their passengers to supply the service of arranging tours for them with local tour operators. Passengers were not charged the GST for the service as part of their package holiday, since it was considered part of the supply of the international transport of the passengers and therefore exempt under the GSD Act. Under the Belize General Sales Tax Act, quote, a supply of services that are provided directly in connection with the operation of management of a ship or aircraft engaged in international transport, unquote, is zero rated for GST purposes. As a result, the cruise lines did not pay GST to the tour operators, alleging that the tour operator's services of supplying tours were zero rated, taking account of the fact that the cruise lines had not collected any GST from their passengers against which they could offset any GST payable by them. They believed themselves intended to fall outside the net of the GST. However, the GST commissioner insisted that GST was chargeable and the tour operators had to pay that charge. Both tour operators filed a claim in the High Court of Belize seeking a declaration that their services were zero rated. They also argued that they had been unlawfully charged GST and should be refunded all monies paid to the relevant tax authority with interest. However, they received an unfavorable ruling in the High Court and the Court of Appeal. In a majority decision delivered by the Honorable Mr. Justice Hayton, the CCJ said that those courts had taken too narrow an approach to the interpretation of matters covered by the management or operation of a ship engaged in international transport. The operators of cruise shops uh, as part of their operation or business provided holidays which for most passengers included the experience of having onshore tours arranged for them by the cruise lines as an integral part of their holiday. The services supplied by the tour operators to the cruise lines for the passengers should therefore be considered zero rated as a supply of services that were provided directly in connection with the operation of a ship engaged in international transport. The President of the Court, the Honorable Mr. Justice Sanders, Saunders, I beg your pardon, did not agree with the majority. In his opinion, the passengers safely disembark the ship. After passengers safely disembark the ship, any domestic transportation that they hire is their personal business and not connected to the ship's operations. Additionally, to include these local tours as part of international transport would erase 
the distinction carefully set out in the legislation between the supply of domestic and international transport services. By his interpretation of the Act, GSD was payable by all suppliers of taxable services. Therefore, in his opinion, the local tour operators should be required to pay GST. That's Justice Saunders. However, based on the majority's decision, the CCJ ordered the repayment of all GST paid to the Cruise Solutions Company and Discovery Solutions, including interest, as well as their legal costs. The full judgment, just in case you folks are interested, can be read on the CCJ's website at www.ccj.org. Okay? There you have it, pilgrims. There you have it. Now, I told you yesterday about a video which the CCJ's media people had released earlier this week. It touts the claim that the NDC is in support of Grenada's accession to the appellate jurisdiction of the CCJ, but it omitted the conditions under which the party would support the accession to the appellate jurisdiction. I'm going to play you that right now. But I also urge you, just to make sure you get both sides of the story, that you go to the GrenadaBroadcast.com website. Actually, I'm sure it's on websites all over the place. Just go there and see the statement which was issued and which I read to you yesterday by the National Democratic Congress. Here we go. The National Democratic Congress is not and has never been opposed to the CCG. In fact, previous administrations led by the NDC have done lots of work to push forward the work of the CCJ, and that can be attested to by Brother Peter David. The CCJ is another step towards the achievement of Caribbean unity. And in the NDC, we know that eventually, one way or the other, the CCJ in its appellate jurisdiction will become a reality, not only in Grenada, but throughout the Caribbean. So, there you have it. That's uh, the video that uh, um, is running around the place right now. It's, it's all over uh, Facebook, etc., etc., etc. Okie doke. Now, let's see here. It's 14 minutes after 9 o'clock, and we're going to take a little break right now, and uh, we will come on back with the National Report.
Grenada Market has now introduced the Prime products to online shoppers in the UK via Amazon.co.uk. Zebapik, Nutmed, Wabande and Mobibak are now available, with more products being added gradually. These products are shipped across the UK and Europe free of charge for Amazon Prime members and backed by Amazon's reputable customer service. Avoid international shipping. Buy in your local area. Amazon.com in the USA, Amazon.ca in Canada, and Amazon.co.uk in UK and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Grenneck Community Partnership Initiative. What we have seen with the quality of the debate, the intellect, the effort that has gone into this is a credit, first of all, to the debaters themselves. But it's also a credit to the teachers, to our schools, to our parents who would have worked with those students to get them to where they are today. Us who sit in Parliament should be inspired by what we have seen today. And I think we can learn something from what has been presented here today. Grenneck, energizing our community. So babe, mm -hmm. Alberto and Beryl come and gone, right? So that means we still have Chris, Debbie, Florence, Michael, Patty, Sarah. From the looks of it, Tony and Valerie might be coming as well. So we need to pick up some extra hurricane supplies. You don't know how many hurricanes will be coming this season, so you need to be prepared. At Hubbard's Hardware and Building Supply Department and the Food Fair Supermarkets, everything from canned foods, flashlights and batteries, to plywood, tarpaulin, lanterns, roof repair kits, water tanks, etc. are available. For over 90 years, we've helped you prepare for and recover from storms. Hubbard's is an integral part of your hurricane preparedness plan. Get discounts when using credit and debit cards. Princess Alice Hospital Smart Facility handed over to government. Details to this story and more when we return. With the details to the news for today, Tuesday, October 16th, 2018, I am Rakesha St. Louis. The Princess Alice Hospital is now certified structurally safe, more energy efficient and disaster resilient. Initial assessment of the hospital began in 2010 and it was subsequently retrofitted to become the first climate smart hospital on island by the UK Aid, World Health Organization and the Pan American Health Organization. An official ceremony was held on Monday to hand over the smart facility to government. Minister for Health, Honorable Nicholas Steele, is pleased that Grenada has started the process of contributing to a greener, healthier community through its efforts to be more resilient. A project whose primary goal is not just to focus on the physical retrofitting works, but to ensure that we are contributing to a safer, healthier, greener community throughout the Caribbean. PAO has conducted a series of vulnerability assessments and studies of the infrastructure across the health sector since 2010. Most notably is the Hospital Safety Index. Including recent vulnerability assessments and studies of the health sector infrastructure. PAO consultant Shalini Jagnarine says the Princess Alice Hospital has been outfitted with new and improved roof hurricane shutters, mobility ramps, among other measures to ensure it is safer and more resilient. We tried to address the most urgent needs. These included improvement of the structural safety of the roof to resist, to resist hurricane wind forces, improvement of the earthquake resilience of the facility, uh, particularly under the maternity ward, which you'll see, uh, installation of hurricane shutters, upgrade of the electrical distribution system, which improved efficiency, but also reduced the risk of fires. Um, like Camille had mentioned, a lot of the money that was spent on this facility you will not see today because Grenada Princess Alice now has underground electricals. So this means that the risk in the hurricane is much reduced. 
Amidst the physical scope of work done on the facility, the partnering organizations have also conducted capacity building sessions with members of staff. Building resiliency in a health system also requires that the staff themselves um, become more aware of what their role is. Building a resilient health system also means that our staff must be committed to the highest quality level of care and to the highest efficiency. You must be able to provide care of such a standard to your peoples that they can be healthy and well, but that you have the ability to scale up when a disaster occurs. PAHO's director, Dr. Carissa Etienne. A senior official from Sunwing Travel Group will be in Grenada in the next week to discuss the way forward following Sunwing's purchase of the Grenadian by Rex Resorts. During the weekly post-cabinet briefing on Tuesday, Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation, Honorable Clarice Modest Cohen, said while they were not privy to the details between both parties, she was confident the purchase will mean upgrading, resulting in more rooms and employment opportunities. The Sunwing boasts of brands like the Mystic, Starfish and Royalton Resort brands. Oh, we're going to be talking to them about those brands and which one we'd like to see. I can't say they will take what we say because it's, it's a private purchase. But um, we're willing to work with them and they they be coming to meet with the, um, um, the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance and myself. I just got a notice, it's not the starfish that's the best one, it's the Royalton. So... Um, and uh, I know someone who went to the Royal Town in, in St. Lucia, and they were in high praise. So I hope we can get a hotel which people are in high praise of. Minister Modest Cohen hopes the purchase of Rex by Sunwing Company will mean its legal matter with government will no longer exist. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The house was shaking, shaking. Then said the story here, babe. Crack, 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 crack. And the roof had gone. Man. I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind. It's a hazard. Hazards. Take control. Reduce your loss. You can hurricane proof your home. For example, make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from the National Disaster Management Agency and Sidera. Welcome back. Health and environment leaders from small island developing states, SIDS, are in Grenada formulating a health and climate change action plan to be submitted to the World Health Organization for approval. The third global conference on health and climate change is a response to the 2017 SIDS initiative, which highlights the urgency in transforming health services from the current model of curative services with escalating costs towards one based on disease prevention, climate resilience and sustainability. Health was included on the global climate change agenda during a recent conference in Fiji. Director of the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. Carissa Etienne, says the action plan takes into account the urgent need to incorporate resilience within health sectors. By 2030, all health systems in SIDS will be resilient to climate variability and change. It also recognizes that this must happen in parallel while countries around the world are reducing their carbon emissions. And so I also want to appeal to all of you ministers to ensure that when you are getting ready to build a new health facility, hospital or clinic, that you ensure that the design is a smart design and that you will take the opportunity within your budget as well to make some of your existing facilities much smarter. The two-day conference will take a closer look at empowerment, resources, evidence and implementation of the SIDS initiative and a draft action plan. World Health Organization's Assistant Director General, Dr. Joyce St. John, said the draft plan must be submitted by October 22nd. We need to submit the action plan for the global initiative to be considered by the World Health Organization Executive Board. And then 
on to the 2019 World Health Assembly. So we are here to absorb, absorb your clear messages and infuse them real time into the submission to the executive board. In the few months since this idea was first proposed, we have moved quickly to lay strong foundations, but the real building work starts here. We need you to define an ambitious but realistic action plan that will deliver on our common goal to protect the health of our island people in the face of perhaps the greatest challenge they have confronted. Over 14 health ministers are present at the conference. And finally, in celebration of Grenada capturing the Global Markets Award for Minister of Finance for the Year for the Caribbean, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Right Honourable Keith Mitchell, shared toasts this week with his cabinet colleagues and staff in the Ministry of Finance. The Prime Minister continues to state emphatically that while the award may be designated in his name as Minister of Finance, it is an award to be shared by all Grenadians through the many sacrifices made during the period of the Structural Adjustment Programme and the level of support provided at various levels for the tough choices that were made to put the country back on a sound financial footing. In Cabinet, Dr. Mitchell noted that many in the region and in the international arena are praising the success of Grenada's structural adjustment program and the resounding growth that had ensued. He thanked members of Cabinet for their support, not only in terms of structural adjustment program, but for their overall commitment to securing the future of the country. Meeting with staff at the Ministry of Finance, Dr. Mitchell encouraged them to take credit for the award. That story just brought the curtains down on the National Report for today, Tuesday, October 16th. Let's recap the top story. Princess Alice Hospital's smart facility handed over to government. On behalf of everyone who made this newscast possible, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for viewing. Until next time. After a hurricane, exercise caution as you may still be in danger. Be alert and keep listening to the media for official instructions. Assume all wires are energized and stay away from them. Avoid water that is in contact with poles and lines. Report all emergencies and outages by calling Grenlake at 237. If your home or business sustains damage, and you are safely able to get to the main switch, turn off the power immediately. Get a licensed electrician to check your home for damage before restoring the power. Grenlec will ensure that island-wide power is safely restored within the shortest possible time with essential services restored first. For more information, please visit us at www.grenlec.com. Grenlec, energizing our Grenada. Grenada Market has now introduced the prime products to online shoppers in the UK via Amazon.co.uk. Zebapik, Nutmed, Warbande, and Mobibak are now available, with more products being added gradually. These products are shipped across the UK and Europe free of charge for Amazon Prime members and backed by Amazon's reputable customer service. Avoid international shipping. Buy in your local area. Amazon.com in the USA, Amazon.ca in Canada and Amazon.co.uk in UK and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Can I have a chicken lunch please? Large. Real nice today. Mm -mm. I don't want that. But you just asked for a chicken lunch. I don't have problem with the lunch. I'm afraid the container. Why is the problem with it? These styrofoam containers, they don't go for the environment. They shorten me life. What, what foolishness are you telling me? So what do you want me to use? Put my food in this. Will you get that? 
at the food fair where you could get all biodegradable food boxes and disposable food supplies like cups, plates, anything you could think about. Name it, it's there. And they don't harm the environment. Food fear, taking the lead in cleaning up and protecting the environment. Hey, hey. like you take me advice, you get in your biodegradable food supplies. Hey girl, I supporting who's supporting the environment. That is why I shop in that food fair. Food fair, where you can fill your baskets without emptying your pockets. Products distributed by Hubbard's agency, Kirani James Boulevard. I'm always on the move. Training, traveling, competing. So it's good to know I have Quap Bank in the palm of my hand. Introducing e-banking, one of many customer convenience services from Grenada Cooperative Bank. And there's more to come. It's swift, simple, and secure. Welcome home. Alrighty, folks. Uh, it is now 29 minutes away from the hour. I want to take a few moments here to uh, salute the very good folks at Jonas Brown and Hubbard. They are the largest uh, uh, corporation on the island, as far as I know. And um, they have been doing an awful lot of community work, which uh, there usually isn't a lot of fanfare about it. But I have just learned that they have come to the aid of the Rose Hill Infant School. That's a small operation out there in St. Patrick. The school apparently caters to about 50 youngsters and has been serving the community for over 50 years. Well, they were desperately in need of a refrigerator to take care of the break time and lunchtime needs of the little ones. Jonas Brown and Hubbard came to their assistance on Friday of last week and presented them with a Westinghouse refrigerator, which both the teachers and the students were most appreciative of. And so I salute you today, Philbert Lewis, who's the uh, new acting uh, general manager, and your team for the community spirit that you guys continue to uh, deliver to various communities in this uh, in this country. And by the way, this was no ordinary refrigerator. It was one of those energy efficient ones. Can I have one? <laughs> one of those energy efficient ones which will keep both the school's electricity bill down and the carbon footprint. You know, everybody's uh, talking climate change now and protecting the environment. Well, this device is quite capable of doing that and saving a few pennies as well, okay? So, you have already heard the national report, and um, there's something I uh, just want to make a snap of this. Take a look at this. You may have seen this uh, in the newscast a few minutes ago. Um, just want to show you that again. That's an image from Cabinet this week, where uh, the Prime Minister and his Cabinet were commemorating that uh, accolade that's just come his way. See that toast there? Look at that. And I keep wondering, what do they have on those plates? Is it oil down? Is it saltfish and ackee? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but they look like they're having a very good time. Congratulations, Mr. Prime Minister. And uh, right now, I want to I wanna step back in time a little bit. Those of you who were with us on uh, Sunday morning probably heard me play a track I don't usually play a lot of music on uh, on my programs but I played a track uh, pertaining to the uh, Silver Sands issue down at Grand Dance and the reason why I did that is because on Saturday afternoon I think I mentioned to you that a friend and I had spent some time you know strolling the beach and taking a look to see what changes had been occurring down there 
And um, I remember that there was a track that was produced all the way out in Switzerland by a good friend of ours, Chester, who, by the way, is on the box, not on the box, but he's on uh, uh, Facebook this morning. Um, I see that David E. Frost is also there. David, you have a mighty big thumb. Look at that. Mm. And um, Fitzroy Adams is also watching from New York. Anyhow, they, they prepared this uh, track titled the beaches are for everyone and it was done by somebody who goes by the name of Alexander the Great now it was just an audio track okay and um, unfortunately because there was no video it, it's not a music video by any stretch of the imagination so I grabbed some footage of Grand Dance Beach and the Silver Sands environment and I sort of covered up the music with that video. Lo and behold, this week I received another version of that track. Actually it's the same the same musical version, but they got together and they dug up some very, very beautiful images of this country. And they have slapped together, call it a music video if you wish. And I want to share that with you right now. Once again, the track is done by Alexander the Great. The beaches are for everyone. And by the way, the person behind this is our good buddy who's with us all the time, very loyal listener and viewer on Grenada Broadcast, Chester Simon. Here goes. Corruption rampant. Yeah, Grenada's Department of Physical Planning is now under some scrutiny. They say that they bring in work into the country to improve the economy. But foreign investors and coastal proprietors now buying up the best property. Allegedly making it hard for the locals to access the beach for the sea. The beaches are for everyone. And we welcome you here in the sun The beaches are for everyone And we hope you will have plenty fun But you must understand Every small grain of sand In this beautiful land Is in real high demand So the beaches are for everyone Yeah, the beaches are for everyone Population were deeply opposed to the Riviera project, which some saw as exploitation. We say the Cameroon Park Committee was formed to ensure the park's preservation and protect Grand Hands Beach from private development, saving it for the nation. The beaches are for everyone. And we welcome you here in the sun Yes, the beaches are for everyone And we hope you will have plenty fun But you must understand Every small grain of sand In this beautiful land Is in real high demand So the beaches are for everyone Yes, the beaches are for everyone Some green belt sites 
I smell something funny It must be the money That flows down from Cinnamon Heights We cannot allow them to steal Come our own pack They're ready to sell our birthright The beaches are for everyone And we welcome you here in the sun Yes, the beaches are for everyone and we hope you will have plenty fun But you must understand Every small grain of sand In this beautiful land Is in real high demand So the beaches are for everyone Yes, the beaches are for everyone And Jamaica are facing the same thing as Gabby has already told. The beautiful beaches, which used to be public, are now being bartered and sold. The Caribbean region is now open season as we watch this drama unfold. They use every trick in the book that they can to turn this metal into. And we welcome you here in the sun Yes, the beaches are for everyone And we hope you will have plenty fun But you must understand Every small grain of sand In this beautiful land Is in real high demand So the beaches are for everyone Well, Mr. Simon, we salute you, we salute you, we salute you. Nice job. Boy, quite a collection of images you've got there. Flora, fauna, uh, cuisine, uh, beaches, and just about everything. Really nicely done. What do you folks think? Um, I do appreciate the time you put into it. Now, just before we pull the curtain down, I want to remind you, just in case you missed it earlier on, there's a tropical wave uh, heading our way. Actually, I think it's about here right now. It's generating extensive convective activity and an abundance of moisture, cloudy conditions, showery activity, and thunder are expected to affect these islands today and tomorrow. Okay? Reading this here, um, they say it is possible that some of this precipitation may also be more related to the intertropical convergence zone. As a result, a warning of possible flooding landslides has been issued for the state of Grenada. They've also done uh, the same uh, for Trinidad and Tobago, okay? Kind of late now if you left home without your umbrella, pick one up somewhere. Let's take another little break here, and uh, we'll come on back and wrap it up with uh, some words of inspiration, as we normally do. Conveniently located in the Grand Anne Shopping Center, for over 40 years, Food Fair has provided quality service at affordable prices. Now, grocery shopping is made easier and more convenient from the Food Fair web store. Hey, babe. Hmm? Listen, uh, I need you to go down to food fair to get some groceries. All right, no problem. Right away. Thanks, babe. What are you doing? You're supposed to be going food fair to get a grocery, man. I am. But didn't you know you can order your groceries online from the food fair web store? Are you serious? Of course. All you have to do is just log on to www.foodfair.gd with credit card in hand. And with an order of $100 or more, food fair granites will deliver up to three miles away. And you don't even have to worry about your information, you know. Their safety measures are excellent. So hold on. You just order online and Food Fair will deliver to you? Yep. Oh baby, better hurry up and order, man. <laughs> I already did. They should be here any minute now. Enjoy easy online shopping anytime from your home or office from the Food Fair web store. Food Fair where you can fill your baskets without emptying your pockets. Grenbeck Community Partnership Initiative. We're here in sincere appreciation to Grenbeck as a utility corporation for the donation of that rooftop solar generating plant. It would reduce 
our monthly bill. On behalf of the Hillsview Home residents and the wider community here at Gove, to just thank Grenleck most sincerely for that thoughtful donation. Grenleck, energizing our community. Grenada Market has now introduced the Prime products to online shoppers in the UK via Amazon.co.uk. Zebapik, Nutmed, Bobande, and Mobibak are now available, with more products being added gradually. These products are shipped across the UK and Europe free of charge for Amazon Prime members and backed by Amazon's reputable customer service. Avoid international shipping. Buy in your local area. Amazon.com in the USA, Amazon.ca in Canada, and Amazon.co.uk in UK and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. General Insurance Company, strength and stability. Grenadian General Insurance Company, tell your friends, tell your family, because a household that's comprehensive, moto and even fire too. Contractors all risk burglary, public liability, professional indemnity, director's liability and wait, we still have more. Come and find out more what you're waiting for. Are located on Scott Street, St. George's. For more information, call 440-2434. Tell everybody. One of the things I really like about Chester is that he gives credit where credit is due. I just took a look on uh, Facebook here and he's saying, thanks Nesta for providing the lovely pictures. See, this was a team effort. A lot of people very, very uh, interested in uh, the the developments taking place down there at Silver Sands. And let's hope this all works out for the good of both parties. When I say parties, I mean the Grenada Party and the Silver Sands Party. We have to work hand in hand. And I'm certainly praying that things do work out. Folks, just before Georgie Porchy scoots here this morning, I want you to listen to this. It's a passage from the Holy Scriptures. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they are? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet, I'll tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. Just in case you'd like to go back and ponder on that passage, you may go to Matthew chapter 6 in the Holy Bible. Verses 25 to 29. Pilgrims, thank you for joining us on this uh, kind of rainy. I haven't looked outside now since, uh, well, for about an hour or so, but uh, just as I came into the studio this morning, it was raining here in St. George, and as I mentioned, you can expect some more of that later on today. And they say hey, this is going to continue right into tomorrow. So, on that note, I extend an invitation to you to join us again tomorrow for the next edition of Good Day Grenada. And uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, Good Day Grenada, 9 o'clock. But tomorrow night, yum on, the usual suspects are going to be back here. Beverly Sinclair, Margaret Francis out in New York. Beverly's uh, here in Grenada. Margaret in New York. Jerry, I think, is in St. Vincent. Catherine is in England. 
and uh, who knows they're going to be there'll probably be people popping up from various islands around the region as well so thank you for joining us tomorrow if you can make it from eight o'clock tomorrow evening until 10 and then on sunday morning your next edition of sundays with george grant as always it's going to be a scorcher on that note i'm going to take my leave and wish you a wonderful day as well as god's blessings <music>